I just said before, make some noise. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to really make noise. I just started taking, I'm like, who invented that shit right there? Make some noise. And then some of them said real long too, right? Like, make some noise. <laughs> but let me get back to what I was talking about, the weed. <laughs> I'm saying, I just wanted to do that, I just wanted to drift. Is that a problem? Yeah, but um, as far as the former weed smokers, man, yeah, I'm, I'm a former weed smoker, man. And it's hard for us, man. I mean, I mean, he's a form we smoke. I mean, you ever at a party, right? When you're walking down the street, and you smell some good shit, uh, right? It goes past your nose, right? Right? Your nostril starts to flare. Your heart starts to race. Maybe he knows. And your dick gets hard, right? Well, that's what happens to me. Because when I smell that weed, it's like smelling the perfume of an old flame. You know what I mean? It's just like smelling the perfume of an old flame, man. So, it, it, you know, it gets me up or whatever. But I read something somewhere that threw me for a loop, man. I read something somewhere that the number one killer among retirees is weed, man. Wow. Small fucking weed. I'm stunned you, right? Let me do my, let me do my bit. Let me do my bit. But the number one killer among retirees is weed, is weed, man. See, these guys they're doing 20 years, 30 years on the job, and as soon as they want, as soon as they retire, the first thing they want to do is smoke a bag of weed, you know. See, but what they don't realize is this ain't that same hippie and bell bottom weed that was out in the streets when he first started the job. This ain't that friggin' disco Danny Terrio weed, you know. The disco ball was going on, you know. So they retire. And um, they go to smoke this weed. They don't realize that weed has evolved. You know, compared to what this, compared to what they used to smoke, this new weed is like dope. You know, this new weed is like dope, man. So it's like they, they, they're retiring, they're smoking this weed, they think they're gonna get like like the uh, like the hippie Jolly Green Giant weed, and then they get this Hulkamania funk, you know, Hulk Hogan weed. It's giving them a jab to the heart. And next thing they had a goddamn obituary, man. You know, this is true, man. You really said it was bullshit. He's very upset. I upset you with that, right? All right. Well, stop smoking weed for 30 years and then start smoking again. And let's see what happens to you. Yeah? But you know, but um, something happened to an uncle of mine, man. He did that. He did like 25 years on the job with the city, you know, and he, he decided he's going to celebrate with a bag of weed. You know, we ain't seen him for two days, man. <laughs> Kicked his door down, man. Found him in a closet in his, his ex-wife's wedding dress, sucking his thumb, man. Hope the teddy bear. This is real. We will kill your ass, man. This ain't no joke. That new weed is no joke. And you know what's going on too now, man? As a guy that's out there and, and trying to do my thing, as far as on the dating scene or whatever, I'm tired of competing with these old men. I mean, like ever since Viagra came around. <laughs> It's like these guys are going through their second childhood and shit, right? You know, I'm in a supermarket, I'm in a laundromat, I'm scoping something out, and here goes Grandpa. And grandpa's looking at what I'm looking at, right? And I'm thinking to myself, what's wrong with this old man? This guy's like twice my age, he couldn't be possibly interested in him. You know, then I noticed he just came from like the pharmacy, probably just got his Viagra. You know, he got a nice little Woody on or whatever. But anyway, <laughs> but it's real, it's real, what I'm saying is real. These guys, the Viagra has, has rejuvenated them, you know? But I heard that there is a bunch of seniors, though, that have filed a class action lawsuit against Viagra. It's bullshit, too, right? Yeah, yeah that's a lot of bullshit. Yeah, but uh, they filed a class action lawsuit against Viagra. Apparently, for them, the Viagra is getting them hard but it's getting the wrong body parts hard. <laughs> you know, some of these guys are taking the Viagra and it's, it's making their arms extend. You know? All right, and some of them, their legs are out. 
So if you see a 70 year old walking around like this, that's the guy that had a bad Viagra pill. You know, that's what's going on. But I wish those guys the best of luck, man. You know, shit, Viagra's supposed to work, damn it. You know, and every once in a while, you hear some story about some, some guy that's trying to be King Dingaling. Right? Male enhancement, right? Some guy that wants to walk around with a freaking boa in his pants. He's just not satisfied. Well, the, lo the latest story I heard was this guy, man. He flew all the way to Taiwan to try some type of new herbal enhancement, some type of Taiwanese rhubarb fruit or some shit. You know? So anyway, he took it. Shit didn't work. All it did was turn his friggin' balls purple, and now his dick is growing a tooth. You know? So, well, you know, well, you be satisfied with what God gave you, damn it. That's my time, right here, Mr. Cruz. I'll talk about going shit, talk to that guy. Talk to where's Waldo? Keep it going for Mr. Bruce, everybody.